Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, your favorite random man, Future King of YouTube, here with another Team Shenanigans podcast. And of course, I got my main peoples with me. I got Jamal. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I got my. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I, got, I got my homie Tremaine with me too. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are laughing about. I don't like getting the butter. Hey, you were so, hey, you, you just so so quiet. It was like you gonna say something. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> I mean, you guys were so confident and adamant about your conversation. I was like, I don't want to intervene in them for them to be calling me that nigga. You know, I don't want to be the guy that interrupts. You know. So I just just waited for my opportunity. Uh, I mean, you waited to see my hand raised, and you uh, called me. Yeah, I called you. I mean, you should have been ready. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh god. Right. But anyways, uh, welcome to again another Team Shenanigan podcast, and our topic of today is um when our favorite video games, comic books, etc., becomes movies, or based on Hollywood takes over. And anyway, like I was saying. When Hollywood takes all our favorite stuff, you know, uh, basically like, uh, you no, know, like all our favorite '80s shows, TV shows. But basically, we're gonna talk about this. Um, I'm an '80s baby. I used to watch the show back in the day, Dance to My Dance to My Little Sister. Uh, it was a show called Jim Jim and the Hologram. She got me stuck watching it, and I actually liked it growing up. It was a good cartoon. But now they made it to a movie, and look, it, during like the end of the summer, movie and look, any last week in theaters, Universal pulled that boy. It's been like two days and they pulled it. Because it's one of the worst movies I have ever seen. Which leads me to this topic. Of all the movies we have seen based on comic books, video games. Jermaine, I know it's your, I know I already know what you're going to say, so we're going to say you for last. Jermaine, what's, what's the worst movie you've seen based <laughs> off a video game, comic book, or whatever? Uh, So, which are you asking me, like what I think is the worst thing that go from being like a TV show to a game or a game to a TV show or a game to a movie or game, you asking game, like what I think a, a, like a game, a game to a movie comic book to a movie or you know a TV show to a movie and, oh and, and, well that's obvious uh, <laughs> uh, um, let's see should I start with the insult that's Resident Evil you know a giant <laughs> slap in the face to all its fans you know you start out you got this amazing series Resident Evil right right starts off yeah it's kind of edgy it's real dark real gritty good universe right. then we make it into a movie let's take everything that's canon in Res like Resident Evil and just say fuck that shit like yeah. none of that's real none of that happened and we're just gonna make it to where this new story that revolves around one woman named Alice that wakes up naked in the bathtub and then GG her story begins might as well just be an RPG is this is a R.L. Stein like flip your book and find your destiny sort of tale? Like you don't know what's going on <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> you have no clue how it's gonna end. And I still ain't even see all the movies. I got tired after oh. three. They they were coming out with some desert <laughs> stuff. It, it became desert punk, and it was like driving <laughs> trucks and stuff <laughs> in South Africa. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I think I'm done with Resident Evil. Like I I, uh, I, I have no clue what's going on in the story anymore. You don't like know. what? <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I just and then there was one with Albert Wesker in it, and it didn't even look like Wesker. I'm just like, who is this douche? <laughs> I'm like, what is going? <laughs> uh, uh, what is this? Chris I, had played part of that shit. Fuck that movie. Fuck all of them. Uh, look, I didn't even make it. To th I, I stopped that too. After I seen two, I, that was I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I have seen all the movies. The best one I have seen was it's, two. Two was the best one. And uh, to me, two was the best. It one. was. I it was. I liked two a lot. Two, two the was, first one, not so much. Two. Second one was better. The third one's just like, where the hell are we going? The fourth right. one's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it is like. <laughs> I I mean, I've been like, cause like the last one, we had, oh, we're gonna bring it, everybody gonna work together, try to stop the Red Queen. I'm like, this is like none of this is not canon. It's like uh, it's like like when I saw the first one, I give them credit. I give him credit that you make a story in some type, some type of way. Cause mind you, I didn't really like the first one. Cause what one of the one of the uh, liquors was one of the main bad guys in the whole in the whole uh, movie. And uh, it's mm -hmm. like I'm like, eh. I mean, you had your movie, go ahead. Let's just drop Resident Evil because it's, it's bullshit. 
I'm about to say it's just terrible. They, okay. It's like they wanted to go to a different direction, and then afterwards people were just like, "Man, this sucks!" And they're just like, "All right, let's do fan service." And then they just threw in <laughs> right. all the characters from the series. Right, right. Like, that's what it felt like. I didn't, I didn't, they, I, I, I felt, felt no attachment to those movies whatsoever. And I feel like that's just like a giant slap in the face, almost a bigger slap in the face than throwing Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger in a Mortal Kombat. Like, so, what oh, were they thinking there? Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, like. <laughs> And they're doing it again. They're doing it again. Did you hear? They got. Oh, they, they got. got they, 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 they got. They got. They got. They got. They got. Yeah, they're throwing Le, alien Le, now. Alien. Uh, Letterface. Uh, who else I miss? I feel like I'm missing somebody. Look, else. Shut up. We are done. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 So. 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 so <laughs> in the nuts. So, I'm just saying they could have had Spawn, and and now <laughs> they have. Dude. Now they have Xenomorph and Leatherface. You <laughs> son of a. But look, what's up, what's up, so keep it on track here, since we're on top of Mortal Kombat, because the same guy who directed the Resident Evil movies directed the Mortal Kombat movies, and which, the, to me... The Mortal Kombat movies was decent, though. They Out of all the video game movies, I mean, all the video game turned movies, Mortal Kombat is the closest one I, I that mean, actually was supposed to the story. I mean, Street we we forget Street Fighter. I we, no, we, we will not mention Street Fighter. Street Fighter is like the, is like the black sheep. Uh, that whole genre, okay? That Street Fighter movie, uh, I want to forget about that. Uh, now, I know William Guile. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, look, what, what made it so? Look, what made it so bad for me with Street Fighter was like I ain't know my Street Fighter logic back then. I, was, I thought, oh, so, oh, I thought Blanca was a real person. I thought, I thought he was Charlie. No, come to find what? out, they said Charlie look, was Blanca. Right, that's, a, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> What but the boys did Charlie and Blanca. Right, but the, like, when I see when I, man, it's like to when I found out my this, the what made it worse was so, so God didn't know Ryu. They had Ryu and Ken as weapon smugglers or something like that. I'm like, like this is not, hey hey let's hey let's not forget freaking news reporter Balrog. Too. Oh my god, <laughs> god. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Best story in a best story in America. That's that's the movie right there. <laughs> yeah, those that's we make the big box. <sighs> Let alone the sequel to that movie was awful too. I think only video game based, only only video game turned movies I can really enjoy and not bitch about is Mortal Kombat and probably Tomb Raider. I enjoyed the Tomb Raider movie. Tomb, yeah, I, I get. The front is probably because you like looking at Angelina Jolie. Shut the hell up! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even care about the movie. It's just like she's in the movie. I mean, this is a, a just turn around one good time. She hit that spin kick. You just like that's right, girl. Kick that man's head in. Uh, she ain't do no front flips or nothing. She ain't do no death defying stunts. Look, I like, I could see the rope from here, and I was in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna say this, though, but like, I mean, the first two minute film was good. I didn't care too much about the second one. Uh, What's the, like, okay, hey, hey, hey. sorry, go ahead, bro. But no, uh, uh, really, you said comics too. Yeah, the comics worst. Too. Some, okay, since you already said Resident Evil, I, I, I'm pretty sure everybody who's watching this will say the same thing. He Man. Anybody y'all see the He Man? They made movie? a He Man movie. They made a He Man movie. He Man movie. No. It's probably it's probably why they didn't see it then. It, it can't. It cannot be a good He-Man movie unless they got like Arnold Schwarzenegger playing no, He-Man. They, they tried to make a modern. They had the, the movie's basically about He-Man coming to modern day. Oh that, wait, wait! I know you're talking about that that, that eighties version of He-Man. Okay, I know. I hated that movie. I don't give yeah, a fuck. I, nobody I know, say I, know I was a huge kick in the nuts to He-Man fan. I was like, uh, Are you what the fuck? And, he, and then let me don't even get me started on Skeletor, old freaking plastic looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old school movie, but damn, y'all could have did better than that. I mean, come on. Wait, I mean, what? I mean, I'm gonna say this. It's, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Y'all remember, Ace was kind of limited back then when it comes to special effects. No. But, 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 but wait, wait, but, but at the same time, at the same time, I have to review you. It wasn't the best. Cartoon coming. I don't know shit about making. I mean, look at us cosplayers. We do a way better job than Hollywood ever do, and we making our shit from look, fucking duct tape. The, the paper funny thing is, the- like when it comes to fan made stuff, some, some, not all of them, but some fan made stuff be better than the than the than the Hollywood stuff. 
So I'm like, why we can't? Because you're more dedicated. True. You exactly. know, it's, you're doing it because you're doing it for you. You want, you, like, you're not doing it just for paper. Like, they're just like, all right, they gave us a six cent budget. We're gonna make this costume to the best of our ability. You duct tape the shins. I'm gonna go ahead and put some plastic on top. We'll see how I look at the end of the day. And then afterwards, it's just like. Hmm. It looks just like Megatron. We did a good job. If it looked futuristic, we did a good job. <laughs> that's, that's all that matters. We don't care how like authentic or kosher or you know how how much it looks like the original. You know what I'm saying? We we just want to make sure we make it new and <laughs> edgy as fuck. Fuck Megatron. That's it. Let's okay. just make a random. Uh, you can't say that because they uh you remember the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie that came out with it was like Teenage <laughs> Black Turtles and uh, and <laughs> they was rapping and hip hop and like I didn't I didn't have I fun with that movie except when when Shrek showed up. He was Megatron. I hated <laughs> everything about that movie. I didn't even see it yet. I didn't even want to see it. I saw. I went and saw a costume. Like I got. I saw the movie and I. Cause I want to go to something else. I hate it. What, I forget, what movie I saw? It's called As Above, So Below. I hated that movie. Let me go watch Ninja Turtles. I saw. I was like, it, I had it, to me. It was. It was a couple of hit and misses with Ninja Turtles. It was like, I didn't like the fact they were so freakishly tall. I'm like, why are they so tall? Because they was Megan Fox in there. That was it. Megan Fox. Eh. I think, <laughs> eh. I think what you, like, if you watch it as a fan, you're not going to like it so much. But if you just watch it for it as a movie, then you can enjoy it. Because yeah. I went and I was just like, man, that's not canon. That's not real. And, yeah, I, and like, yeah, but yeah. once you stop nitpicking it, it actually is a pretty fun yeah. and really entertaining movie. Well, I guess so. I'm just... Cause I would never give that movie a chance. That one. <laughs> like, but no, <laughs> like, I was like, as no, as a fan, you know, you want to see all, uh, you want to see some of the stuff that made it canon, and then to see it just be total trash is like it's a big kick in the nuts. It is because I'm, 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 <laughs> You, you just gotta stop. You just gotta stop watching it as a fan. I learned that after like Iron Man two. Like you just, I just, learned like, that you know, watching I'm Avatar. Not gonna like when the Mandarin turned out to be like, like. New universe and things just change, and and you just look at it like that, like you're reading a new set of Marvel comics. Like it's the real universe. I get to like I'm gonna say this about Transformers for this. Like I know it just about everybody hate. Now it's me. I'm, I love the trans except for three. I ain't care for much for three. Now I see what 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 Michael Bay did for Transformers was he he made his own Marvel. version, but at the same time he had his own identity. But also at the same time he kept what made Transformers good. Like of course the the little transforming sound stuff like that, but that's why that's why I probably with with, with uh, some of these movies right now. Like I don't know, y'all probably I saw the remake of the Fantastic Four movie, a waste of time and money because like oh my god, this stuff was awful. This is the worst movie I've ever seen based off a comic book. You talking about that new Fantastic Four movie, the one with the black Johnny Storm? Yeah, that black, one. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I didn't, I didn't watch it. I, I didn't make shit. any plans to I watch didn't it. I want to see that shit. I mean, I, I, I had a feeling I it might be good, it, but when I he was black, I was chance. just like, because like cause as I'm, a black man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can appreciate that. As a black man, I think some things just need to stay white. Right. <laughs> no, no, and I, and I, I agree with y'all. No, I like. I, I wanted to give it a chance, and I did, and I paid for it. No, my, my curiosity has really been killed. It is like, uh, cause nothing about the movie was right. Like, no, you know, everybody know how Ben and Johnny always go at it. They ain't go at it towards the end when the credits is getting ready to roll in the end of the movie. I'm like, they, ain't, they didn't get their costumes at all. So it was like. Nothing was explained. Nothing, nothing at all was great about that movie. Yeah, I don't know. Again, I mean, this there's, a, there's so many movies coming movie. out. It's just they just want the money, man. That's all they care about. That's why I don't watch that. When it comes to like games, comics, yeah. cartoon, anime, whatever, going movies, no. There's very freaking little movies I've seen that actually made me say, okay, that's pretty good. That's nice. No, screw that. I stopped watching that shit a long time ago. Which, which brings me mean, to my uh, my next point. Now, supposedly, supposedly, as they're saying, like, they, oh, they got, like, directors, like, uh, uh, Demiso Del Toro, who, like, who's a combo fan, watch certain movies. I now, To me, I feel like the directors who making this movie are not fans of the stuff that we watch, and I, I Jamai, you just saying we saw something we gotta stop watching as a fan, and believe me, that's what I did because the the new Fantastic Four was based off the alternate version of the Fantastic Four, like the Ultimate Comics. 
And uh, I you know what I'm saying, you know, I feel like they're not getting the, if, they, if they are getting their resources, they're not using that resource. So it's like, so what, like, what you think of case in point, the Super Mario Brothers movie because that was awful too. <laughs> there was a super what? Jamal, super you don't know about that this movie. You don't know about that tragedy. <laughs> you don't know about that tragedy, bro. Cause I'm waiting for that time to come on TV to watch that. Cause I was like, even I, cause I, was, it was like came out like 1992. I was like, I am not going to theaters to watch that. No, Jamal, uh, I know you saw it, right? Please tell me you saw it. I seen this. Sh- I'm glad you said that. I remember that movie was god awful. That movie, it was, it was nothing. Oh Shit was Nothing. terrible. Yoshi was a nope. raptor. Uh, <laughs> describe how bad that movie was, man. They, no freaking. They made it to thing. like a like a post like a dystopia oh, type of world. Well, it was, it was, it was good, I didn't make no plans for that either. Modern day Mario, and it was terrible. It, yeah, they made it kind of Mario Martin, but the thing is, Mario's already modern in in like in our world. He's modern, but they turned to his like. I guess I guess like a a post steampunk type of Outworld. world. Yeah. Outworld, yeah, <laughs> something. And it like it was bad. It was like it was the worst movie based on a video game. <coughs> I'm not gonna lie. I would have. I would have been like, I, if they make Mario movie, I would. He he should be black. They should they should black him. <laughs> I'm just saying. He jumps really high. He eats mushrooms. and gets big. Like, come on. <laughs> He's a black man. Like that. That's that's something they need to black it. I mean, like Terrence, you can play Mario, and then like you just get some. Random tall black guy. I could play Luigi. And it's just like, yeah, it was me, Mario, eating pizza, and you just sit in your house just eating pizza all day, and then just like girlfriend shows up, just like I'm being kidnapped by white people, and it's just like, oh, look, it's gonna have a realistic spin on it. Money. Look, the only, rolling in. Look, the only thing they had was was resembled to Mario. They had the Babam, but it was it was so small. Was, the yeah, the Baba or whatever it's called. It was so small and oh, like, it, it, again, off, I mean, I, I know, I know, we're missing a lot more, but it's just, it's bad. It's, it's, it's really bad, terrible. But like I said, yeah. like it's, again, back to my point, I feel like Hollywood is like, oh, you can tell, and again, you can tell when something is rushed. Like, oh, here, make this and make it great, and there you go. It's like, like, what, what are you giving us? And, and I try not, like, I'm going to say, like, the last air minute, I really did try not watching it as a fan. And, but some stuff, I was just like, I, I had to cringe a little bit. But as it's, it was hard. I, I was like, cause I'm an Avatar fan. It's just like, I'm like, what am I watching? <laughs> that's, how, that's, how, that's how I feel like. It's like, what am I watching? I understand that, dog. Like some, some like the Avatar though that doesn't have multiple. Oh, like man. I, mm-hmm. when when you watch a Marvel movie, like I, mm-hmm. I, the reason I say watch it as a movie is because they have so many different, like you right. know, Earth six one eight or and like all the different Earths. They have different universes and stuff like that. Especially and with DC, the same thing. But right. when you watch something like the Avatar, it only has one story. It only has one role. It came out in a set of four comics. So. Right. You know, they have the four different books that came out for it. Of course, you want to see the story, but you want to see it portrayed in a different way. But right. you want to see the story. And when they deviate from that, I mean, if it's small deviations, no one's really going to care right, too much. Right. They're going to notice it, but they're I not going to care that. too much. Yeah, but but they really want to just see the story done in a way like people want to see it now instead of just reading it. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So that's my deal with stuff like that. If it's like something that only has one medium, one story, one kind of one like iteration right then you shouldn't derive from that path you know what i'm saying i right. feel like those should stay mainstream it should stay consistent so if so for someone to change a concept like that and change the story around and then it doesn't make sense to the people right. i mean you can watch it for a movie and <laughs> right you but watch. you're still gonna have a problem with it especially if you've already seen it if right. you haven't seen it then i mean it's new to you right because I, I guarantee you oh so i'm playing man no, I'm saying don't recommend that movie. Don't tell anybody. I'm not gonna re- look. I'm just saying like, <laughs> not only did they change yeah. the contents of it, they changed it like they couldn't say the characters' names right for the life of me. It was like Ang was on, Sokka was Sokka. Oh, man, that bugged the crap out of me. I mean, I was like, wait, what? I, I wanted to walk out the theater and get my money back because this <laughs> joke was awful. Oh, oh like, come here, oh. Okay, right, come on, like it's like Jamal, I agree with you, cause like like Avatar, it was like it was one like continuity. It was like it, it like I say, it like and like, that's why I wanted it. Like 
I was like, they, they could have made the, they could have got the fish, and they would have got that big giant fish, right? I would have been satisfied with that. But no, it was a giant wave. A wave. Yeah, it was, it was terrible. How did you? slap in the face to everything like, that. <laughs> slap in the yeah, face. You know, it was constant. And now, now I guess the loyal fans are spending hundreds of dollars on all your paraphernalia. <laughs> fuck you. Just fuck you. <laughs> okay. Let me ask y'all this question right quick. Okay. Have y'all heard of a game called Blood Rain? You said a game called what? Blood Rain. Oh, I see. Yeah. That. Okay. Oh, yeah. What Love Blood Rain. Okay. Okay. Y'all, cause y'all saw it. Have y'all seen the movie Blood Rain? Yeah. I have. Yeah. I, I, I have not, but if she doesn't have boobs, I don't care. Oh, she has boobs, <laughs> but the story no, no. the story takes place not, it, it, like it has nothing to do with the game. It's like no. like it goes back to way like Transylvania. It, I mean, oh wait, 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 wait. No, I did see that movie. Okay, I remember okay. now because it, I, like okay, so I started watching it right. Yes. I didn't finish it because it was on Sci-Fi. That's why oh, I started watching course. it, and the quality was ass. It was like a two cent <laughs> movie. And I was just like, dog, like dog, <laughs> this is happening. And then yeah. I remember like getting it, it. It was not the the best. <laughs> yeah, uh, I watched like a whole scene of her fighting like a whole lot of dudes in some backwaters town. And I was just like. <laughs> I don't know if I feel comfortable watching this. I feel like I'm brainwashed a little bit. This could be like, uh, like, oh like, my god! But uh, like it's like I remember uh, saying that. Mark. Yeah, yeah, like I said, it's after I saw, I really after I saw the first one all the way through. I was like, yep, it, this movie trash. That's like I okay. Like speaking of DC, because we, we know we gotta touch on DC. We don't. I know we don't touch Captain Marvel or somewhat. DC has their fair share of bad movies too. Case in point, okay. case in point, uh, Batman and Robin, Catwoman. Leave that alone. No, like no, that no, no, no. That movie would <laughs> no, no, because God, they could have got anybody else than George Clooney. Anybody <laughs> else? She was better than Dark Knight, Mister. <laughs> Where's the fuck that shit came from? Where's the truth? Where's the truth? I'm Batman, and I want your ass. He's just like, oh, all right, Batman. Batman. I'm sorry, but Christian Bale's by far the worst Batman to me. George Clooney, yes. Batman and Robin was bad. I only liked it because of fucking, uh, what's her name? Uma Thurman was in there. God! But anyway. <laughs> George Clooney was better than freaking Christian Bale to be done. Even though the no. nipple suits was... Oh, really God. Oh, 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 God. That, that bothered me. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm, trying, I'm trying to enjoy Batman. Every time he turns around, they show this man's butt, then they show the nipple. I'm like, come on! This is, this is, this is a oh. porno or what? I'm like, get, get out of here. Hey, subliminal messages, man. That's all it was, man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we got secret sexual innuendos inside the movie. <laughs> oh, man, like, even though it's a sex girl in here, let's focus on a man's ass and his nipples. Okay. Uh, I mean, you got to me. You Are one you of... ready to see Batman and man's ass? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, to me, you had, you had one of the most sexiest women in this movie, and then I feel like, oh, t- time to turn to Batman. Next thing I know, it was like, oh my god, why do you keep showing this? I was like, why do you That moment when you feel like Batman's too overly sexualized? <laughs> I saw that oh. hilarious how he pulled up a Batman credit card on her. Talking oh about my god. I forgot what he was saying to her. But he pulled up that Batman credit card and shit. Look. And I swear, if you really pause that movie and look at the damn credit card, it says Wayne Enterprise. It does, no, it, no yeah. it does say... It does say Wayne Enterprise. It does say Wayne Enterprise. I, I remember I watched the movies too many times. But uh, I, you know, I hated how they did Bane. But the worst thing they could ever done was mess up Barbara Gordon's story. Oh, oh yeah, fuck her. Up. Like, oh, I didn't really watch the Batman movies, so I don't know how they portrayed it. But is she not like a paraplegic or what? Oh no, this this, this, this she, before she became no, yeah, this this way before she became para, uh, paraplegic or. Handicapped, but uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, Batman, so Joker doesn't shoot her in the spinal cord, and she's just like, ah! 
out of my leg. No, this does not, not happen. Movie. Not in the movies. Not at all. Oh. <laughs> you gotta remember. Look, you gotta remember. Tim Burton directed the first two, so you know it. Could, it was that. It had that dark vibe. You no, know, when Val Kimmer did Batman Forever, it was okay. I just you no, know, it still had that dark vibe. Batman, dog. So I can watch the classic Batman's any day more than the freaking. This shit. Hell, I watched the Jack Nicholson Joker one way more than the Christian look, Bale shit. Look, the only thing was good yeah. about the Dark Knight when yeah. they had a. <laughs> look, he's Jack like. Jack Nicholson. <laughs> I don't get old, the band. <laughs> that boy, <laughs> he's he been 60 for like 700 years. <laughs> if, you look at, if you look at a movie with Jack Nicholson, in, I'm not sure the subject, but uh, that guy is old still. Like, he's like 60. Like, he's oh, my God. Like, I can't remember. That's the white Morgan He like oh. Morgan Freeman. Like, someone around <laughs> here is giving out the, the, the water of life to these boys, and they've been old forever. Like, I see the picture, it's just like, oh, we found a rare picture of how Morgan Freeman looked in kindergarten. That boy's beard was black. <laughs> I saw that picture. <laughs> I was done. <laughs> oh, no, man. I was like, what, uh, what kind of picture is this? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, okay. I got to touch on my not so favorite superhero, you know, uh, Superman. And the, the uh, work. I the, didn't like you better movies. get back off Superman. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Nobody except be broke. I thought Superman is bullshit. That he man, does a lot. That man, that man is OP. But wait, 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 wait. But the movie. I hated the most of all Superman films I have seen was Superman Returns when that man played with a whole island of kryptonite. I'm like, no. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I was yeah. like, no. Everything, like, everything for me was good. It's just like when he when he picked up that whole island, I was like, dog, no, this is not real. I said, how can he be doing this? It's like, it's kryptonite. I don't care, I don't no. care you're in the sun or not. Hey, that's the fuck should be. He should be dead. That's what I'm saying. Like I said, now don't, not, when I saw Man of Steel, Man still gave me a new perspective for Man, so I got a new perspective for him. But the thing is, this man is still so, he's still overpowered. Jamal, I'm sorry. He's not my favorite. That's why I'm saying Batman is better than Superman. I'm sorry. It just, that's how I feel about it. <laughs> but, uh. I just find DC really cheesy. I mean, is, I like the universe and all, but they, some things just, just don't add up to me sometimes and I'd like to keep a lot of those things to myself because <laughs> you know you know how comic book nerds get it's just like you say oh, something it's just like heresy heresy burn him here, 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 here come like the hate attack you here come the hate mail right now because I'm sorry for that so, so remember, I'm sorry no like I said Man of Steel was my is, I'm gonna be honest with you it's my favorite Superman movie but that one wasn't yeah that's the good the best one that's the best he has odd in it Right, I want to zap up Superman's ass some more to just beat the shit. Superman guy. Look, tell me what Superman movie day that Superman got beat up that bad because he got beat up a lot. Because like, cause I feel like they show they show more of a vulnerable Superman than like, oh, I'm here, I'm stand for truth, justice, and American way, Superman. I'm like, I like, and it says. No, see, that's why I kind of like Marvel because the characters are so, in a sense, flawed, makes them more likable, and you know, you, you can you can uh, react. No, you have more reaction towards them. But like I said, but Superman Returns yeah. was was definitely the worst of of the movie. Like I said, but I'm, I got to touch on this DC film. Still, wait for yeah. it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Jamal's being quiet. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you made me laugh. I'm trying to. <laughs> man, man, it still was a good movie, and uh, I mean, that's the only Superman movie mm -hmm. I actually can watch. But oh shit, that's that's cool. But I was seriously trying to think of something else, like another DC movie that's good. That's <laughs> good. Um, uh, besides Superman, and Batman, nothing. Fuck that movie! I ain't hyping that shit one bit. I'm not. Done. What the hell? Done. I'm out of this Superman what? versus Batman. Now you look. realize, well, say this to, no, no, I, let me finish this. Go ahead, go I ahead. Here watching this, all you goddamn overrated Batman fans need to realize Superman can just flick his motherfucker, he's done. I'm tired of this Superman versus Batman <laughs> shit. Superman, Batman be getting his ass hey. Batman is technically the weakest person in the Justice League. No, 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 I gotta got disagree with you with that, though. Listen, I gotta disagree with you. Dude, Gadgets. But Batman is known for beating. Look, Batman, if you don't know, because I did my research on this, 
Batman actually beat the Hulk. Is it? And pull it to a little crossover comic. But look, 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 check, look, check, look, check, <laughs> but check it out, look, check it out, though. But the thing girls make a prep time. <laughs> then I can beat them. Come back to me in a year. Then I'll be ready. Fuck <laughs> them, boys. Let me whoop your ass right now. Come on, come on. I'm out of here. Uh, I was about to say, <laughs> let Batman do his homework and yeah. Hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on. Smile, yeah. Smile was a good movie. But they finally I come back. It talks about how old Spawn is, though. Oh, oh, Spawn is just like Superman. He's a sentinel of heaven and then like a god slaying demon of hell, and then everyone's just like, eh, this is Spawn. Spawn is well, He needs to come back. Oh no, but they, they they are redoing Spawn though, so I don't know when it's coming up. But I heard they are redoing. Yeah, they you are. better have Michael Mike playing them again. I, I mean, I would like to see that, but I don't I don't see that happening though. Nine, nine times out of ten, what is with that picture? Oh my god! But anyway, uh, the Jesus, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. Jesus, Tremaine. <laughs> this is definitely gonna be a. This, I am focusing now, but good god, bro. This is definitely gonna be on the outtake here.